Now let's add a sky. As you'll notice, our sky is just a gray blank area in the sky. So let's go add some clouds and some uh, and a sun and something, make it look much more realistic for our environment. So to do that, what we need to do is go click on Assets, then go down to Import Package, and then go over and click on Sky Boxes because we're going to import our sky boxes. Now this will take a few minutes to import. So um, and while that's loading, um, what the sky will do is we can actually choose several different types of skies. When we get this type of sky, uh, when we get this type of import package box, let's go ahead and make sure we have all of them selected, and then click on import. And that will import all of our sky box components. Now, uh, once that's loaded uh, to um, show our sky, what we need to do is go here and click on Edit, then go down to Render Settings. And then once you click on Render Settings, then what we can do is you'll see there's a skybox material. We'll hit on that little circle with the dot. And then let's click on Sunny Sky 1. So you'll see we'll have uh, there it is, Sunny Sky 1. So we just double click on that. And then you'll see that we now have a, a nice sky in our uh, uh, area. Also, one thing to note is if we want to add fog, let's say we want to have a distance fog so that things are kind of gray in the distance to make it much more realistic. Um, what we can do is we can go in and we can um, click on this little square right here and click on fog. And you'll notice by default it's pretty foggy. So we can also change the color of our fog. And I like to choose just kind of a real light blue color. And notice that kind of washes it out. But then what we can do is go here and click where it says uh, z uh, zero 01 under fog density. Or we can change it to a zero zero 002. And you'll see we'll get a kind of a hazy, misty look in the distance, which really adds to our uh, scene environment.